Well, another sensor in the kit is a temperature sensor, and this is a solid state temperature sensor. It's really a fairly complex uh, integrated circuit that measures temperature, uh, and it outputs the temperature in volts. So the way this gets uh, the information out as far as temperature goes is it has a change of 10 millivolts or 0 0.01 volts per degree centigrade. Um, the pinout is pin 1 on the left which is the V plus pin, that's where you attach your positive voltage. The center pin is your output signal and the last pin on the right is your ground signal, your ground connection. So I've got this hooked up so that it'll it'll hook it up just that way. So I'm going to plug this in and I'm using 5 volts here. The voltage range for this device is uh, 2.5 volts to 5.5 volts. So don't make sure you don't exceed 5.5 volts or you're, you'll risk damaging the device. So the way this is hooked up is I have my positive voltage coming in on pin 1 here. I have my ground going to pin 3. I've spread the pins out a little bit so it's easier to connect everything up. I have my output signal coming from the center pin and then I have another ground connection here that goes to my meter. So right now at room temperature this thing is measuring 0.71 volts at room temperature and it's supposed to be calibrated so let's figure out what 0.71 volts means. Okay so be careful when using this because when you do the math initially, knowing that this has a 10 millivolt per degree centigrade change, if you do the math you come up with a really high temperature reading, abnormally high. And the reason is is because there's a 0.5 volt offset. So you have to subtract whatever voltage you get on your meter, you have to subtract 0.5 volts from that to get the true temperature um, so the way I've done the math here is we know we have a 10 millivolt per degree change um, and if you want to set the problem up a little bit easier you can say well that corresponds to a 1 degree change per 0 0.01 volt of voltage that you measure. Now, if you multiply that by 0.21 and that's after you subtract off 0.5 volts off 0.71 because that's what I'm measuring right here. Um, then that gives you a 21 degree centigrade temperature for the room and this right now the room temperature is apparently 21 degrees centigrade. If you translate that to Fahrenheit that translates into 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit which is which is right. So the device works and let's watch what happens if I touch it. It's fairly sensitive so if I touch the device I'm going from 0.71 to 0.7 three, the temperature is increasing, and I should be approaching body temperature. I'll never quite get there because it's very difficult. Um, your extremities typically aren't going to be body temperature. But you can see it's approaching body temperature. Now one way to tell um, how it does for cold is to take a can of this um, dust-free spray coolant. This is really just refrigerant in a can. And if you hold it upside down, it will actually spray a really cold liquid, really cold refrigerant. You can see that the temperature, the voltage there has dropped dramatically. So right now we're reading about 0 0.04 volts. Okay, so if you take, for instance, 0 0.04, subtract off the half volt offset you come up with minus 0.46 which gives you a temperature of minus 46 degrees centigrade and that translates to a temperature of about minus 50 degrees centigrade so and that's pretty typical for these this coolant material and how cold it can get so this is great for testing temperature sensors so I'm going to bring the temperature back up again on this by putting my finger on it and we'll watch the temperature come back up I've got some uh, condensation on my breadboard now that I got to get rid of. So this is how you use the temperature sensor and if you are uh, going to hook it up to an Arduino you basically just need to be able to take this incoming voltage 
measure it with the uh, A to D converter and you'll come up with a number that you can scale to have a temperature readout in degrees centigrade and because it's a computer you can also program it to read the temperature out in degrees Fahrenheit because it's just a simple matter of doing some math so that's the the wonder of computer technology that you can basically use programming to have a device read out any way you want to um, if the temperature gets too high you can have that the controller trigger a relay or um, some device to cool whatever you're measuring the temperature on so maybe have a fan come on or um, spray some coolant on something or use a thermionic device to cool it so there's all kinds of options when you start getting into temperature sensors and mixing temperature sensors like this with computers.